What a surprise. We're talking about Nintendo Switch 2. There's only a few things in life that are guaranteed. You got death, you got taxes, and Nintendo Prime talking about Switch 2. Oh, boy. I don't know how long I had that joke in the barrel for. Uh, look, guys, we have some stuff to talk about today in terms of a possible new accessory that is related to the Nintendo Switch 2 and why it's related and how it actually relates to a rumor that came from a Chinese YouTuber. Oh, boy. This is actually quite fascinating and could have massive Massive implications for Nintendo Switch 2. We also are going to revisit a little bit of the leaks from last week, those prototype leaks, because some people way smarter than me have come out to essentially say they are real, so that's really awesome. Oh, and by the way, we might have some new expectations for when Nintendo will reveal the system based on some speculation surrounding a Nintendo visit to a retailer. It's all kind of funky stuff out there. We got some something to do. I don't want to waste any more of your time. So if you guys are enjoying all this content for Nintendo Switch 2, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. We're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. We're actually starting to creep in on 137 right now. It would be awesome if we could somehow pass that this week. Now let's go ahead and dive into this really weird mislabeled story out of Family Boards. You're going to see the headline here, which is... Uh, incorrect. Uh, it kind of sucks, but it says Family Boards gaming shot worker claims Nintendo is briefing them soon about Switch 2, which is not exactly what is said. Uh, there is some Switch 2 stuff mentioned, but let's just go over uh, what it says here because the post has been deleted, ha as has some follow up posts, which isn't too uh, surprising or anything given how this story has spread a little bit of misinformation, but let's look at it. It says, Game Store worker Nintendo over at Family Wars thinks that Nintendo of Europe is visiting retailers to discuss Switch 2, which is actually not what he said. Uh, but Switch 2 was brought up, so we'll get into it. Uh, here's the actual post. They do quote it, thankfully. It says, So, like many people who might know, I work in a game shop. Even if many people now think they must know something, no, unfortunately we don't. But that's another topic. So, like, people that think game shops know things. All right. We will be visited by Nintendo of Europe staff from Germany on October 8th. My boss thinks. See, this is the big thing. Not what he thinks. My boss thinks that this visit might have something to do with Nintendo Switch 2. But I don't believe that and just think it's a quote-unquote normal visit. But then my boss adds that such visits don't happen often, and the last time was years ago, so long time ago, and there might be more to it than just a visit, and they want to discuss Switch 2 sales and pre-orders and so on. So that's my theory on why Switch 2 has to be announced before October 8th, because they obviously wouldn't go to a retail outlet before it's been announced. Now, uh, he does go on to clarify that his boss did state that the last time they showed up was back in 2017, which was uh, when they were briefing them on the Nintendo Switch before uh, it came out. So there is some uh, definitely some interesting stuff in there where you can infer that this entire post uh, means that Switch 2 is uh, getting briefed to certain retailers and stuff like that. I would venture to go that this probably isn't happening, and I know there's a little bit of irony based on something I uh, reported on earlier this year with this, uh, but I wasn't talking about people going directly to the actual stores. Now, I don't know how Nintendo of Europe does it, and I don't know if this store is a major chain or this store is like a, just a really, really big single individual store, his boss then being the owner, uh, and he He's the one who obviously got the email about Nintendo coming out. Look, I do believe Nintendo's probably visiting them on October 8th. It could just be about holiday stuff and holiday advertising and sales. Or, it, you know, maybe it is about Switch 2. The big thing is, there's a few weird oddities about this from Nintendo, and I'm not calling him out specifically for this stuff because he, he might be right. Uh, but he talks about how it's a normal visit, which I don't know what a normal visit is, when apparently... They haven't been there since 2017, so it would mean them visiting the store is a little abnormal. Uh, but beyond that, and by the way, that's according to his boss, uh, according to what he said, what his boss stated. So, meaning he's never actually been there when Nintendo has visited. So, I don't know what a normal visit constitutes for him. He also said that he doesn't know how Nintendo of Europe would even know anything about Switch 2 because he thinks that uh, he knows more than Nintendo of Europe. There was one post he put up, this one I thought was really weird, uh, where he's like, yeah. Uh, you know, when a Nintendo Direct is announced, Nintendo of Europe doesn't even know that the Direct was announced, yet I do. And it's like, uh, I'm pretty sure Nintendo of Europe knows because Nintendo of Europe also made announcement posts. I, I don't know, is he like best friends with people? Does he live with someone who works at Nintendo of Europe who doesn't know what Nintendo of Europe is doing? I, 
some really weird oddities with this. And, you know, a lot of it is just conjecture and opinions and, and, and statements like that. I do believe that Nintendo probably does work at a game store. And his boss probably does think that this meeting on, you know, this, this visit coming is related to Switch 2 simply because, one, Switch 2 is being talked about and hyped up a lot. And, two, the last time they came was reportedly for the Nintendo Switch. So, you know, the boss can kind of put two and two together and be like, hey, man, they haven't been here in, like, eight years. So if they haven't been here in eight years and now they're coming... Why are they coming now? They didn't come for any of the other holiday seasons. They didn't come. So, like, why are they coming now? Again, the boss is just, you know, putting two and two together and making an assumption. But, again, it might not be related to anything. Also, we have to remember, uh, Echoes of Wisdom leaked, right? Uh, it publicly leaked, you know, a, a few days ago. Uh, people have been playing it. It's emulated. It's all over the place, whatever. We warned you this was about to happen. But the thing is with that is this could also be a shop that Nintendo thinks the leak might have came out of because the leaks always come from retail copies that get out early that people then dump online. So I wonder if Nintendo has a suspicion that this shop in particular could be the source of one of those retail leaks. I'm just throwing out there that, you know, it might not be a positive visit or a positive reason that Nintendo is coming out to that shop, but we can't rule it out. Obviously, we have all the popular reports that there are the Chinese YouTubers saying that there's going to be some sort of reveal event next month, repeatedly saying that over and over and over again, uh, along with many others. Now, we have to get into the next part of this because uh, Digital Foundry finally talked about the Nintendo Switch 2 prototype photos and essentially concluded that they're real. Now, they did it based on the fact that the PCB is incredibly hard and expensive to fake. Uh, but we went over all this stuff last week, how we also showed that the plastic bits, you know, the actual controllers and the shell are injection molded, which, again, that's even more expensive to get made than a single PCB. We're talking, you know, 20, tens of, uh, just lots of money. I mean, probably a good $50,000 just to even have that thing exist. So chances are that that was done by a big business like Nintendo. Then, yeah, it probably was related to accessory manufacturers and all of that. But Here's the thing. We're not here to debate whether or not that leak was real or not. I think we all can presume those those actual photos, not necessarily the CAD models, but the actual photos are real. The CAD models could have been made by a fan or made by an accessory manufacturer as they're looking to make components. But what I do find uh, really interesting is this post over on Reddit. And, you know, we got to we gotta go over here and take a look because... Uh, it brings up something quite interesting. So it says the Nintendo, the new Nintendo device filed with the FCC, not Switch 2, is possibly a peripheral for Switch 2. Now, this is a real thing. Nintendo did file this. We can open this up here and we can see it when it loads here. This is a real thing. Uh, this is really filed. But here's the thing we want to focus in on is uh, the things of note that are from that filing. And we have it all summarized here on Reddit. It says the model number is CLO001, which means this is the first of its kind and not a continuation of a current Nintendo device. It is listed as a wireless device, so it's not a game console or a controller, which is how they would typically label this. So you think this is like a new pro controller or something that's not what this is. There's no battery in it, so it can't power itself, and it can only be plugged in via a USB-C. So it uses USB-C, Notably, so does the Switch, and so supposedly so does the Switch 2 with two USB-C ports. But here's what's fascinating. It has a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and a 24 gigahertz millimeter wave sensor. Now, uh, when you look at the diagram here that's provided, this is just a bottom side. There's no front picture. So Nintendo doesn't provide, basically, the front picture would confirm what this thing is, right? This is the bottom of the unit. So then you have the front of the unit, and the front of the unit probably has what this is, right? This is just going to be like your label, stuff like this. This is the general shape of the unit, but we don't know, uh, you know, what the front side is. And the front side probably gives away exactly what this is, which Nintendo probably doesn't want to do at this time. And there's no additional details. Now, if you remember that Chinese YouTuber that uh, 3D printed a Switch Shoe said that she knew about a certain thing that was for that USB-C top port, and that certain thing was a camera module. And she theorized that camera module could actually increase better motion controls through some sort of sensor. So when it's put in the dock, you have the camera module plugged in, and then it could somehow sense your Joy-Cons. And how would it do that? Well, how about that millimeter wave sensor? That millimeter wave sensor is one way to track motion of objects. It is something that is currently used in other devices, you know, specific devices for tracking motion. So this does seem to kind of line up with what that Chinese YouTuber said in that there's some sort of accessory item here for Switch that is a camera that can sense 
motion or at least track the controllers in some fashion. I don't really know how, but uh, that is definitely something that lines up with what that Chinese YouTuber said. Now, the weird part is the 2.4 gigahertz um, Wi-Fi, why it would need that. Uh, it's possible that this device can be extended with a cable. That's the only thing I can think of. Like, if you don't want it sitting... Like, let's say you put your Nintendo Switch uh, inside a you know, inside a cabinet or whatever. Maybe uh, there's a wireless dongle where you can plug it into the top of the USB-C port and then you can put the uh, the camera like on top of your TV or something like that or in a better position for tracking. So it is possible that maybe there's some sort of wireless Wi-Fi signal that connects the two. You figure that would be more like a Bluetooth signal, but Bluetooth can have some latency. Wireless is a bit better. Uh, so, you know, maybe the switch outputs its own wireless signal and then this grabs it and it's 2.4 gigahertz just because, you know, it's stronger going through materials, such as TV cabinets and stuff like that. That's entirely possible. Uh, also, it could just be a, its own standalone unit that just connects to your Wi-Fi network and then communicates with your switch through your Wi-Fi network. Devices do that all the time. I'll give you an example. We have security cameras in my house, uh, and through the Wi-Fi, it, commun it wirelessly communicates to my phone. There's no direct connection between my phone and those cameras. It's all through my actual local network. So maybe it's something like that as well. Who knows? Uh, what I find interesting, though, is that Nintendo is doing it. It's also the fact that it, it, it's not, it has to be plugged in, right? It's not. It doesn't have its own battery or anything, so it has to be plugged in at all times. To me, this is all interesting. This is a, a thing that exists. Whether or not it ever comes out as a real product, we don't know. But it is notable that it uses USB-C. It is notable that it has a millimeter wave sensor, which is typically used for motion controls. Uh, and it, it's also notable that it has a wireless you know, connection. What any of this means, I don't know. Uh, it just kind of lines up with stuff we've already been speculating and or rumoring or talking about. It just furthers the story. Uh, my question is, if it is an external camera, is it an accessory or is it included with the Nintendo Switch 2? A lot of people think it probably should be put in the box if they really want wide adoption of this. I also think they might be able to sell this as sort of a motion plus style accessory. And what I mean is you don't have to put it in the box, especially when you're cutting costs at launch, but it's just like an optional $30 module you can buy or something like that. That, uh, if you want it because some people will never use motion controls in any of their games so i can see nintendo not forcing this on you for your improved motion controls but maybe mentioning that we do have improved motion controls if you want to buy this accessory to me this is a lot different than playstation 5 selling a plastic stand for 30 bucks uh one because they originally included it in the box and two that's just a base thing to hold the system up that would be like nintendo selling you the nintendo switch 2 but not putting the dock in the box and then making you have to buy it separate this doesn't seem like uh, an essential accessory this seems like an optional one that's only there for the very small amount of people that maybe want the improved uh motion sensing and that's assuming that's what this even is in the first place maybe this has no relation to switch to at all that's all just speculative anyways guys you let me know what you think about this down in the comments below i am nathaniel rubble jance from nintendo prime and of course i will catch you in the next video